Good morning, folks. Ugh. This week sucked, but I'm glad to be back on the stream grind here. I not really grinding for anything other than just fun. You know, as as we do, we're just grinding to having fun. And this, well, Wayward's no exception. It's it's a fun game. But, yeah, we'll be playing some more Wayward this morning. And then later tonight, later this afternoon, and then later this evening, we're starting a new Minecraft mod pack. We're saying bye to Subtech, at least for now. Honestly, I'll probably just put shelf it for now. And if I decide to come back to it, we'll still have the same progress. But we're going to be starting a new mod pack with that. But that's for later. For now, we're playing. We're going to be playing some more Wayward and make, working on making some glass uh, infrastructure. But before that, I'm still trying to fundraise to help my good friend Hachiko get back on his feet. Save up a deposit for a place to move, move into with his roommates. And just general support. Because Hachiko's been there for me and I want to be there for him. So, any way you want to donate... Is super helpful. I've got a link below my stream with the GoFundMe graphic. I also have the GoFundMe on my layout currently. I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to brainstorm a new layout, but I don't have a lot of time, so that's going to be a work in progress for a bit. Um, I also have a command for it as well. I also have a command to share my Discord every once in a while as well, so that's available. But anyway, you decide that, that you want to help Hotchko, it's greatly appreciated. <laughs> hello Ari, hello dear, hopefully you are doing well, we are about to start, um, <laughs> new introduction, <laughs> I, had to look, I had to look real quick, um, but hello, it's me in the flesh, whatever you would consider flesh, <laughs> my, my flesh husk is alive, uh, let me get the game started here, where are you wayward, you little scamp, uh, did it get a new Steam thingy? It might have. The Bean live in color. Blink, blink, wink, wink. All right, come on, game. You want to load for me so I'm not just gobbling like a little gobbler? It's it's not Thanksgiving anymore. I can't get away with that. Come on, game. It says it's launched. Oh, no. Okay, I saw the little hourglass. Come on. Come on. It was a good game. It was a good game. Come on. I saw the windows up. Where's it? There we go. Uh, <laughs> apparently not this game. And this game's just a cute little game. I've, I've, I've enjoyed playing it for a while and it's grown and the music's really, really catchy to my brain. All right, let's continue. All right, so we, we've, we've got a swath of just destruction around here because I was planning on like making a little garden over here. And yeah, I, love, I like this game. It's, it's a turn-based uh, roguelike survival game. Hmm, I want to be able to tell you because I don't think I've ever played Realm of the Mad God. But that but, but sounds like something I might want you to check out in that case. Oh, we have some goats, too. I forgot. We've, we've just got some goats we have in captivity over here. That, um, they eat leaves, and then they just sit there and get tamed forever. <laughs> yeah, we're working on, like, making a little house down here. It's, it's a mess because, well, there's just a lot of rock. You make a lot of rocks when you dig into the mountain. Let's see, we got a furnace now. We got a kiln. We're gonna have to start digging up sand soon. It looks like my apartment. That's that looked. It looked like my freaking my place um, before Wednesday, cause we had to have someone come in. Yeah, th this this music is it's real good. It gets better. Like I'm, I'm my legs are wiggling right now to the to the music. Well, I mean my my tentacles rather. You know, you know, you know how it is. Well, maybe you don't know how it is being a plant monster, but you know. All right, so we're gonna need to start getting some sand. We have we have a shovel for doing that. Let's go to like kind of over here where there's less uh, stuff 
going on. Let's see, five as our shovel. We'll just start digging up some sand. Kind of just digging until this spot in the ground is gone. We have, we're full of sand. So it's, I think we have to use a pestle and mortar on it to crunch it up. Let's see, is that, that's bone meal. Uh, is that refined sand? Okay. I think this is about to break, so let's fix that. And we'll drop that again. You can, you can craft and like, do stuff with things that are on the ground. So it's kind of nice, you can just kind of have like, a little pestle mortar on the ground and just have all the sand stuff in your bag and just smunch it up. Uh, can't remember what you have to do next to the sand. Oh, we got we got to level up there, but in dexterity, which I can't remember what that does. But one of the goats um, ate some leaves off the ground and got tamed because. Yeah, that's how life works. You just give things food, and they're like, "I hear you. I owe you my life." <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see. let's scroll down to like some of the glass stuff. Let me filter by. Oh, we need limestone powder. Well, we, ha we haven't found any of that shit yet, so we're gonna have to. We'll just kind of drop all this uh, sand on the ground then. <laughs> Just leave it more piles of garbage in, our, in, my, in the home. Oh, uh, hunger's a little low. Still working on getting the farm going, so we're just gonna... Uh, I see a rabbit, but we probably don't... I'm not gonna bother the rabbit, because... There's a, this score up here where the star is, is a, is a kind of a score of, like, how nice and how mean you are to nature. Turn-based rabbit action, right? It's just mo It's just wiggling. And killing innocent creatures unprovoked tends to not cur- Oh, there's a spider. We don't have to worry about food for very much soon. I'm gonna clobber this fucker. Come here. Come here, Wiggly. Gotcha. Alright, uh, let's see. Eight is knife. Get some spider meat. Yeehaw! Alright, um... We can actually use that spider meat to fish with, which is probably what I'll end up doing. There's some goats down here. There's, ooh, there's a there's a snake too. <laughs> well, you know what? Some sometimes life comes at you fast, <laughs> and you just start learning about shit you never thought you wanted to learn about. Let's see. I, have a, uh, I think it's. Fish pool seven. Oh, I caught a! I actually caught a fish for real. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. has joined the bean army. Oh, there's a shark. Let's fucking fight this shark. <laughs> I just killed a shark with my with the freaking stone axe. Well, dinner is served. <laughs> It just popped out of the ocean, I just killed it. Like, just just like that, you know. Uh, let's see, is this... Initially, to get water, you have to, like, either uh, purify ground, like, fresh water, or you have to desalinate water. Uh, do I have... I don't think I have a water skin on me that has water. No, I think he used all my current water I currently had. Uh, let's, well, let's make some more water, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's pour it out. Let's attach the container. Uh, I think if I use a log up here, I can tear it apart and get pieces to start a fire with. Let's uh, dismantle. Let's see which key was a nine for my fire starter. Fire started, and we'll just uh, stoke the fire with these two planks. 
and one of these barks. Let's X that out. And while the, this fire can be is is the purpose of this fire is to desalinate the water, we can also use it to cook with while that's happening. Let's see how much superior spider meat. Mmm. Well, we don't have to worry about the hunger thing for now, right now, because we just got some shark steaks here. Or fish steaks, but, you know, same deal. Another reason why, the main, actually the main reason why I have these goats is, um, we could, uh, milk them. If I, find, if I remember where my stuff is, okay, here's AF. Every once in a while we can milk the goats for delicious goat milk that it's not as good as water but it's it's all it's like an addition to water so it's kind of like uh let's interrupt all these shark fins they'll rot they'll rot into stuff we can use for fertilizer eventually <laughs> all right let's we're gonna cook this these uh Actually, no, we'll turn the sinew, the offal in here, the sinew. We can use that to make, uh... They're like, oh my god, their milk's not even that good. They're like, I see. I'm glad I'm stuck here. <laughs> I'm glad I'm stuck here, touching this post, eating leaves all day. While you're just sucking my hard milk's not even that good. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, it's a little callous of me, I'd say. Oh, there's another goat. They just keep spawning around here, it seems. All right, let's see if we can find some limestone, because that seems to be like the limiting factor before, between us and making glass. There's a small rat. There's just a lot of goats around here. Well, unfortunately, I can't afford to give them any good good food yet. <laughs> it's a it's a small rat. Oh, you haven't seen the regular the giant rats yet. They're, I'm sure they're around somewhere. Let's see. That's ten. It's only a matter of time before a giant rat spawns and comes, tries to come after us. And they're also very easy to kill, like the, the spider that I fought. But there's a chicken, chimkin, just hanging around over there. Um. This is a uh, POI I found earlier that's like, it's kind of pre-set up with farming stuff. It was kind of a nice find. I just been kind of replanting shit that's been here. Uh, there's talc. I think that's different than limestone. I think that's used for s uh, smithing of like metal armor and stuff. All right, so I can't currently find any uh, limestone nearby. So we're gonna just kind of try to get some get some hydration in our bodies and then we'll go on a little bit of an adventure up oh, just in time let's uh... we can just drink from the bottle while it's attached too. that's kind of cool hmm I didn't know you could do that well Uh, let's see, what are these? It's kind of hard to tell what things are if they're on the ground like that, like this. It's just kind of just a pile of shit. <laughs> uh, let's see, can we stoke? I can't stoke the fire with these maple seeds. What about all this grass? Just kind of throw some grass on here, see if we can get the fire back up to a acceptable level. Uh, we'll probably need some like wood. We'll we'll just break up another log. Oh no, a shark tooth is close to being destroyed. Oh no, whatever. Uh, almost extinguished. I'll add this other one on to the main reason I want why I want to get a uh, glass um, blow and the glass stuff made is. When you have solar stills, you just put water in them, and that's it. You don't have to start fires or anything. The sun just kind of does it for you. Uh, we'll just stoke the fire. I don't want to deal with it. I, I want to deal with just like with the fire, not purifying the water. Uh, you got you got some milk for me yet? Hydrate. Well, 
similar to me in this game. Other, well, actually, I guess not that similar. I have coffee. I don't think there's coffee in this game. Maybe there is now, because if last time I played this was like updates and updates ago. Uh, I do. Uh, I do have water though on my desk. Hey, you know what? It's fine. It's 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 challenge mode. You're just okay. Oh well, I guess. Well, like that guy was as intermittently not tamed, and so it tried to headbutt me <laughs> when I took milk from it. But we got this um milk. Let's see. I think it's. I had, what I'm using these shark teeth for is to save my knife here some durability because these shark teeth, well, I get them from, you know, shark, as you may expect, and they can be used as like a cutting tool as opposed to my knife that takes actual effort to get. But with me fighting sharks, that's just me, you know, defending myself most of the time. Uh, let's, now we have some hydration in form of some goat milk. So you kind of like let us travel a little bit. I was hoping there was like a mountainside up here, but I don't really see one. There's one here we can take we can take a look at the walls it's like I'm in your walls looking for limestone <laughs> now, you, now this game does have an option where you can play like like everything moves in real time but I like the turn-based aspect of it just like being like you have to kind of plan what you're doing based on what like, the surroundings and all okay there's fucking nothing up here at least on the outside there's some apples. Don't hurt the tree. Oh, it's because I was. I have. There's an option I have set where it's like whenever you uh, drop or what, dro whenever you harvest something, it gets put on the floor. So if that's yeah. I was like, wait, where are my apples? Where are my fucking apples? <laughs> All right. So that mountain was a bust. Let's check out this one over here. Just a tumbleweed stuck in a tree. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some limestone like within the mountain that I have my base at. And it's just like deeper in the mountain somewhere. There's some, there's some switch grass. I don't see any bottom or top grass though, so it's a little suspect. Uh, yeah, no, no limestone so far. I mean, either we're just really unlucky or it's just uncommon now. <laughs> the limestone is just like, it's like, oh, you're looking for me? Yeah, yeah, the limestone's like, yeah, we're out of here. Fuck, f fuck this cryptid ass. <laughs> There's a snake. You can actually tame snakes, and they can give you um scales, and you can make armor out of it, which is pretty cool. But that's not currently what we're really looking to do. My, my main goal, mission on this stream for next like few hours is going to be just trying to get glass uh, infrastructure up so that we can see there's a way underground that's tantalizing but also very dangerous because there's like pirate ghosts and shit down there that will just fuck you up horribly 
And I don't know if we're quite ready for that. Alright, let's drink some of this goat milk. Let's see. Like, it, it's nowhere near as... It's not quite as good as water for hydration, but it does give you hunger and stuff too, so it's definitely not bad to have just that along with water. It is getting dark, so... It's gonna be very quickly hard to... It's hard, getting harder to see as it is, but it's gonna be even worse. Now I could just make a... I could make a torch. If I... Oh, there's a dead tree here. Let's just, uh... I guess maybe they won't let you just light sticks on fire anymore. <clears throat> hmm. It used to be it used to be that you could like uh just like light the sticks on fire and then equip them. Maybe you have to like have it in your hand first. Let's see. Main hands. Ignite with the bow drill. There we go. So now we have like a little bit of a torch. Kind of. Now it would have been smarter for me just to head home as soon as it started getting dark, but I never said I was smart. I'm just persistent and a little and a little stubborn. <laughs> now I'm trapped out here in the dark. Now I could be doing much better back at home anyhow, anyhow, I'd probably be just doing like digging up grass and shit. There's some mushrooms. <clears throat> we'll take the spores and we can grow those later. It really, it really does feel like the, uh, the, the, the limestone has run away. There we go, there's some limestone. That makes this whole trip worth it. Uh, let's start just dr dropping the rocks. We don't, we don't need the rocks. Okay, let's drop the rock. What we do with this lime so we can throw it in our backpack, which reduces its weight by like half. Um, let's drink our other milk. Let's eat these apples too. We can temporarily use our other bag to hold limestone as well. Yeah, weight management's a little iffy in this game. Largely in part that if you are over your weight, you'll start moving really slow and then you'll start taking damage. Oh, there seems to be quite a bit of limestone here. We'll have to come back and get the rest. I can just put this in my other bag here and then just limp home. Just enough space. I'm almost certain I'm like down this way towards where I gotta go to get back to home. Because I went up and then around originally, I believe. So we can just. So 
slowly but surely. I'm, I'm really surprised we haven't been attacked by a rat or something yet. Because they usually uh, show up at nighttime if you're wandering around. And if you are more uh, malign instead of benign, you can find some uh, less savory creatures at night. Like vampire bats and zombies and shit. It's, it makes it worth your while to not uh, have your malign higher than your benign if you're trying not to get just destroyed. Oh, these apples are way, they weigh too much. I can probably put them in the bag here to. <laughs> Just enough. Me and my greedy ass, like, mmm, apples. <laughs> That's a dead end. I Might mean, cut the tree down, but. All right, looks like our our previous stick broke. So we'll get another one. That thing was some charcoal, which is used as a medicinal item, along with like plant roots and stuff like that. There's also some flowers you can grow that are you count as a medicine item. Alright, let's make an our... Now this is kind of an example of what you probably don't want to do when you first spawn in and have like no weapons or armor or anything is... Wandering around at night is a bad idea because the game can and will just send rats and spiders at you and when you first start like nude, there's not much you can really do against them compared to like after you level up a little bit and have like an axe and like a shield and some armor. Alright, so we'll head south and I will be back home. Goats, my beloved. My backup source of hydration, I love you. Alright, uh, let's head inside. We'll, uh. Actually, start the fire with our stick here. We'll extinguish that stick and. We're now back at our little base here. We're gonna we're gonna uh, sleep in our little leaf bedroll there. <laughs> All right, we looks like we slept for about ten hours. I'll, you love to see it. <laughs> Okay, that cucumber cucumbers are what I'm trying to grow here because when you eat them you get hunger and hydration so it just takes l l a little bit of a uh, strain off of your water producing uh, stuff speaking of which <clears throat> uh, my uh, thing I'm a things are a mess. <laughs> I think I have a pile for just seeds and stuff and right here. Yeah. This is our this is our seed pile. <laughs> there is Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, I'll drink some actual water this time. Mmm. Delicioso. <laughs> Forgive me for what I'm about to do. I've got to go back to the old ways. It's like the fucking Bugs Bunny gangster fucking, like, pre-2000s shitty edit. <laughs> now what you can do is you can light, you can put uh, these uh, poles in the ground and just light them on fire. Oh, don't stand on them, because as you see, you were nearly burned, but your equipment protected you. Whew, I'm an idiot. <laughs> like, I'm a damn darn fool. Anyway, let's let's get the... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. That grass isn't fully grown yet. All right, so let's get this uh, limestone crunched up. Does that increase in weight? Oh, it's because it goes into my inventory. Ah, that's fine.
Alright, let's keep crunching. Keep crunching. Keep crunching. I probably need to make a better uh, pestle and mortar at some point, because this wooden one probably doesn't have much durability left in its in its soul. But we made all the limestone powder. Let's uh, move it all to uh, the backpack. Couldn't move all of it, but we have enough weight where we can just kind of run back to our little spot right here. We'll drop, like, all the limestone powder there and then all that there. See, we have like six, six sand and like, tw like twelve limestones. So we should probably get some more sand actually, to kind of make them even. If I'm not mistaken, we have to make glass sheets, and then we can turn those glass sheets into um, the uh, glass, like the solar stills. Which will reduce our, our our wood usage significant. Oh, I have a lot of sand down here. I'm just a fool and just didn't grab any of it. Of course you weigh that much. Why do you weigh that much? <laughs> oh, well, shit. I keep, I keep accidentally stepping on this grass that's still growing. Like a damn idiot. Uh, let's see, six. We have, we have more grass seeds. Like, definitely. <clears throat> I should probably separate these seeds out a little bit more than just, like, the pile. <laughs> Although, admittedly, I need the grass seeds probably a like, oh, I have, oh, well, I did have food in here, but it is no longer among the living. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> you know, we'll put all the seeds that aren't, uh, grass in this box, I guess, because apparently I can't trust myself to remember there's food in here. God damn ADHD. <laughs> It's just like real life. Something goes in the fridge, it just never is seen again, and then it's it's bad, it's dead. It has become refuse. Alright, we'll plant the grass and try not to step on it again. Cause I think it was almost done growing too. Whatever. Um in that case we'll put the grass seeds back on the ground. Drop all. I'm almost certain that if we had some, like, smooth stones, we could make, like, a pestle and mortar out of them. So I'm just kind of, like, stumbling around all my, uh... Just stumbling around all my piles of garbage. And now I'm carrying way too much. I mean, you can move, you can move a little bit before, like, you start taking damage, thankfully. Alright, let's be a little less stupid this time. Just a little though. Alright. Let's place this all on the ground here, because we don't need it in our inventory to actually craft with it. Okay, we'll put our pestle and mortar back down. Next time I find some glue or animal, or make some glue of, please not put live things in your fridge. Not, no, I don't, I tend to not do that. Cause I like, at the end of the day, I actually like living beings most of the time. So we try not to do that. <laughs> 
It was probably like fish steaks or something, because I think at one point I had like three sharks come after me. I just clobbered them all to death. I was like, well, I've got too much food now. What do I do with all this food? Now, putting stuff in chests does de decrease the amount of turns it takes for it to go off. Like, let's eat this fish before I forget about it. Let's go swimming. Can I go, can I bully these, this fish? I'm coming for ya! Well, I just punched, I just punched a fish. I'm just sitting out in the ocean, fighting fish. Oh, I got him! Oh, it was a red snapper. <laughs> well, not, they're not red snapper anymore. <laughs> I was, I was coming out here just to see if I get some sharks to show up, because their their brains would be useful to have. Because you can combine uh, bone pieces and. Uh, their brain stuff into um, glue and use that to reinforce your tools to make them better and I want my I want to reinforce my pestle and mortars so that I don't have to worry about making more of them anytime soon it's like for once in it's like for once in my life the sharks don't want to show up you know when <laughs> when the world needed them most they did not show up <laughs> hmm Well, anyway, let's grab some. Let's see if we can grab some uh, delicious goat juice. How are you feeling, goat? You're contented, so you shouldn't claw, try to clobber me. Thank you. Thank you for your d delicious, delicious life juices. F your delicious blood. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. All right, well, we are now quenched. Let's see, we've got a kiln, which is gonna be what we need. So let's do, I think it's nine. Am I missing something here? Oh, I probably need like tongs or something. Yeah, I need tongs, so I need to create some tongs. Shouldn't be too hard to make. Like, let me see. That's a. Dismantle our. Uh... That to that. So we have any good string up here. We have some superior string. Let's see if we can use this other string to make some tongs. Uh, tong! It's a weird name, weird word. Uh, one pole, oh yeah, one pole and one string. That gave us some, oh, they're okay. We can use them eventually to um, we can use them, we can eventually make better tongs out of metal, or we can just reinforce these with glue or something. Okay, that's probably good enough. Let's cook our fish too. Cooked red snapper. Mm mm mm. Yama yama. See, goat milk here is j good enough to like fill all of our, all of our stuff. All right. Now that I have the tongs that I didn't previously have but needed, we can actually try to. Um, oh. Game. Don't fuck with me. 
<laughs> the fire went out literally as I stepped back to it. It's like, hmm, how about no? <laughs> All right, so let's see. A lens. I'm sure we need at least one of these. Uh, let me see. Is there like a... a Okay, the slower still needs a, just a sheet of glass, so I don't need the lens. So I'm glad I decided to look before, um... <laughs> I'm glad I decided to look before, um... Just making shit out of my limited amount of glass, so... I'm frankly surprised we made the, that sheet of glass, like, the first try, because, like... Okay, I guess we're just getting pretty. Oh, uh, tinkering is how you make the the still. So we just poor efficacy. Oh, don't judge. Don't judge me. I'm just I'm just a little critter on the frick on the freaking island here. All right. Wait, how much? These sheets take... Oh, the sheets take three refined sand apiece. Well, okay. Well, I'm glad I had as much as I did. I didn't really notice that. Well, we've got solar stills now. We can just put them down and start just making water. We can also start making glass bottles, too. And we're gonna, we're gonna probably just, like... pick this up and like dismantle it for its pieces okay we'll just start building these one here let's pick up all these uh, ashes I'm sure we use that for something like concrete or something eventually if we really want but I'm just trying to okay and then was it spot it's five let's dig up the ash there drop that as well and we'll build the other one right here That's still finishing up, that's fine. Hmm, can I just, hmm. I have glass bottles, I'm trying to think, remember how you actually make them. Maybe you just make them wholesale? Hmm. We got at least three sand. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Hmm. A lens. Oh, I think I know what we need. We need like a cork or something. Which is made out of tree bark. And that got us a, uh... We got a cork of featherweight. Um, well, that's a surprisingly good cork. It's also worth like 70 credits. So if we ever find someone we trade with, we probably want to like not use that cork. So we're gonna, we'll just drop it over here in the corner. All right. Hmm. 
mean, I probably could just look up the recipe, but I'm stubborn. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm almost certain you need a cork, because, I mean, there's a cork on the bottle. <laughs> Ah, screw it, I'm looking it up. I don't want to sit here and, like, stare at my hands for, like, an hour. Okay, so we need a clay blowpipe for for blowing, I guess. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. You would need something to blow the glass into like a shape. I think we have like clay out on like the beach somewhere that I've dug up. There's a little bit there. I destroyed the pole I was using, I guess, so. We'll just, um, craft this thing. Maybe? Never mind, we didn't even make that, so. Fun! <laughs> uh. I'm uh, clay throwing. <laughs> Well, who's throwing clay and why? Hmm. Well, it looks like I need another, uh, another pole. I don't really need a drink from that water yet. All this just because I'm lazy, I want to make glass bottles instead of having to do, use like leather uh, water skins. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move on up, you know? Yeah, whatever, shark tooth can piss off. Or strength increased, which gained us some uh, malign because, well, I guess getting strength means you're more dangerous in general. Alright, where's that clay at? Did I already use all of it up? Probably. I think there was some more clay over here, so let's go take a look. Yeah, there's a little bit of more clay right here. Well, by, by a little bit more, I mean like one, apparently. Well, we successfully actually, we successfully made the pipe. Let's light another fire, I guess. Well, we still didn't make the damn pipe. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Is there any, any other clay in the vicinity? Ooh, there's a Blorbo. Give, give me your soul. Mmm, gelatin. We can actually use that to uh make a to also reinforce our tools. Make a slime glue with some seawater. We'll do that since it's like nighttime anyway. We'll just uh, make that and then we'll um. eat these apples that I found. It's 
not glamorous, but you can survive on nothing but apples if, like, you grow enough trees. Because apples give you, uh, well, you probably still need to do water stuff, but, like, apples give you hydration and hunger. <laughs> Which is nice. You just kind of just do apples. Alright, so. Slime glue. Since I might be doing stuff with these tongs in the future, we're gonna reinforce these tongs. And now these tongs have a little bit more durability. I was expecting them to get a little bit more than that, even, but it's whatever. Okay, we're gonna just cook this spider meat now, because it's been sitting in our inventory for a while, and it's a bit low on uh, decay. Be a nice little snack. Not right now, but probably when we wake up. Sleeping by the fire let's, makes it easier for you to sleep. Because it's nice and warm. Hmm. We got any friends outside? Oh, we, we do have a friend. Wake up! There's a little spider hanging out outside. Now you can you can actually tame. <laughs> Reach into my bedside table and grab refreshing spider meat. <laughs> like you can actually tame spiders and rats and all that if your taming skills high enough. Mmm, spider meat really slaps in the morning. No kidding. Well, I guess this one's gonna just perish because. Where you going, spider? Where you fucking going? <laughs> in my belly. A sol you just need a solid pound of spider meat to really get you going in the morning. Well, we've at least gotten one thing done I wanted to do for this stream done, is we got some solar stills here. <laughs> Keanu spider meat, it's the best. To eat. <laughs> Oh god, old robot chicken was so decent. Was so decent. Like, it it they really just kind of went downhill, bad. Granted, some of their stuff was incredibly fucked up even back then. Like, definitely back then. But then it just got like not even funny fucked up. Just kind of just bad. Good morning, Spot Dodge. Thanks for stopping in this morning. All pl all things all things planned as I have in my head now. Um, we'll be streaming this for another two hours or so, and then after lunchtime at eleven and starting back up at twelve, we'll be playing a new. I'll be starting a new mod pack in Minecraft. What a decent show! <laughs> Such a. <laughs> it was pretty. It was a decent show, and then um, yeah, then they got on the transphobia train seemed like so yay you know they're, they're, they had to stay edgy and by that they meant, I guess that's just hating minorities then again I think that's what they call it always did anyway so yeah all right let's uh let's detach the container we'll pick up this con we'll just pick this thing up because we're not gonna use that anymore we have these solar stills Let's assemble that. We'll drop this. Drop this string. Uh, drop the string. Oh, here's a rat. Look at this. Look, that's a that. Now that's a rat. Robot chicken spared no one. That's true, but there's like, like punching down is like just a bad policy, because those people already get fucked with by society and all that. That is a thick boy. I don't know if there's really any benefit to taming one of these other than they're just kind of thick boys. They will fight for you, but they're not very strong. I'm about to find out. You fucked around to find it out. <laughs> Pop! Now, early game when you don't have any, like, super early game when you don't have any, like, weapons or armor or anything, the rats can be problematic because, well, I mean, they'll just chase you. But... Yeah, they're, they're not even a, th a threat anymore. 
Matter of fact, it's really nice that he came around because I can, um... We're gonna start a fire on the beach like responsible island goers. Let's grab some seawater and we're gonna make some animal glue. I have his brains. We can also cook tainted meat and uh, have a nice little snack by the beach with tainted meat. Now this tainted meat can poison you. But that's why I'm having a snack on the beach next to my med medical supplies pile. Because if I eat this and I get poisoned, which I did, I can. I have this bottle of water. I can combine it with some of the plant roots to make uh, medicine, maybe. Alright. And then I can drink that and my poison is gone. Otherwise, there's not really. Like, there's ways you can use the, the tainted meat to, like, make food. Like, you can make pemmican to remove the poison effect, but. Doing it that way is just really easy to. Okay, we're just gonna attach, start attaching these bottles to um, our little water stills. I need to find more clay. Because I was trying to make a uh, like a, a, a blowpipe for blowing glass out of clip. What the fuck happened there? I had some little apple trees growing down here. Just I don't know. Oh, there's this beach side over here. Hmm. Do, do I still have some meat? I do. I want to see if I can tame this snake. Gonna very carefully approach approach the snake. All right, let's off, let's offer it some spider meat. We have appeased the snake. We have a snake friend, so we're gonna make a we're gonna make another thing like we have up there with the goats for us, for the snake. Because over time the snake makes sheds uh, scales. And 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 wiggle 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 wiggle. <laughs> And we can use those scales to actually make armor, which is pretty cool, which will be like kind of like a next step up in armor before metalworking. So we're pr uh, probably going to need to cut down a tree. There's one over here we can bother. Alright, we're going to just kind of drop some stuff here. Oh, shit, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably have the snake, like, over... Well, there's another goat over there just hanging out. That's nice. Okay, so we need to make a rope. Out of the string I have on the ground here. And then we can make a hitching post out of these three logs we have. And that we can use that to... Yeah, we're carrying too much weight. We'll we'll deal with it. Okay, I have the snake. Go here. Uh, it's, the snake is now ours forever. It's just gonna sit there and uh, exist. We can like tame it with like meat but we don't really need to now that it's hitched up it just won't ever be able to like escape this goat is kind of annoying me though it's it's getting awfully close to my my cucumbers we'll tame that one too <laughs> we'll tame this one we'll just kind of lead it off into like the wilderness somewhere We'll, we'll lead it off over here, I guess. Oh, it, it got untamed and I was really upset that we didn't have it tamed anymore. See, one of the advantages of having a spider uh, pinned up, like we have those other things, that they would just like poop out silk 
pretty com pretty commonly. So it might be in our best interest to do that too at some point. You know what? Screw it. We'll do, we'll, we'll do it. We'll just um, get this spider to follow us around and we'll... I need to get some more logs first. And we're gonna have it, we'll have it chilling next to this. We'll just have a whole, we'll have a little zoo over here. What have a stone? Go away. That might be why I'm just always overweight over here. It's the stone's fault, I swear! I do need to be cautious. I don't want any of my tame stuff trying to kill this spider. That'd be a little counterintuitive to the whole um, taming process. Okay, and then a hitching, no, a hitching post. Again, why do I have just a stone in my inventory? Pro I think I, it was from when I dis disassembled those uh, stills there. Alright. Now let's see if I can tame this spider. Hey buddy, you want some uh, cooked spider meat? It apparently did not like the cooked spider meat. I wonder if we could just hitch it up without taming it. That would be it that'd be really funny. I don't know if you can, but I'm kind of Oh shit, no! Damn it goat! The goat decided it was a. Uh, it w the goat's wool just fight shit, so I that was my fault. Good job, goat. <laughs> well, we got some spider meat for the next one, I guess. Yeah, I really need to find that clay so that I can uh. I need to find that clay so I can get some bottles made. Cause there, as you can see, there's sand everywhere, so being able to make stuff out of that would be is super good. Hmm. I think we can just dig under the gravel and maybe find some some clay. Maybe. Or is it going to continue just making piles of garbage everywhere? Alright, well, that's not really working, so let's, um... Oh, look, more switchgrass. Hee hee ha ha, funny joke. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna maybe just find some clay out and about somewhere oh hello goat please please be humble okay <laughs> there's a lot of goats around here what why ah, I just realized we're a little low on thirst um, So we're gonna have to head back to uh, bird droppings. Mmm. We're gonna have to head back to our uh, base to um, rehydrate our ourselves. But we could grab some of this water and then um, do something with that. But we're not gonna worry that much. We're not, we're not gonna do that. We've got perfectly good goats we can milk. Now, once I can get the bottles made, we'll be in good. We'll be in good shape. Dismayed. All right. Uh, let's see. Water skin. It's not much thirst, but it is thirst. And that snake is still technically tamed, even if it's dismayed, so it won't bother us if we walk by it. 
Which is partially why I spaced it out from the, the snake and stuff here, is, um... I spaced these out so when this is not tamed anymore, we can still, like, kind of walk around to the goats. Because there are going to be fences here blocking this off before long. Ooh, we got a superior cucumber plant that's spread because of this here. Well, just the, that's the point of this, um... Of this, um... Fertile soil here is that when stuff grows up fully in it, there's a chance that it'll spread a plant to the surrounding tiles. And admittedly, I was hoping for um, slightly better, like slightly more cucumbers than this, but we got a, a better cucumber plant out of it, so I think I'll be okay. I think I'll survive. I won't like w waste away in sadness or or something. I don't fucking know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just build <laughs> just build uh, let's see thirst is a little low but I still have some goat milk I didn't drink okay well I guess while I'm at it I, I've let's see this one has a uh I think these, these three have um, bottles in them, so we can go ahead and load them up with seawater and let them desalinate. Alright, cool. So those are just... Um, so they're gonna eventually just desalinate the water for us without us having to like start a fire or anything, which is pretty nice. If these little asshole rats would stop bothering the apple tree saplings there, that'd be great. Okay. We're gonna go hunting for some clay because we kind of need it to get further along in our uh, glass journey. Ooh, there's a slime. Oh, wait, I have this uh, glue I need to use for something. I almost completely forgot. That would have been uh, annoying to lose that. Not like a death sentence, but just kind of annoying. Right, let's fix our uh, pickaxe that we use a lot, and let's try to reinforce it. Okay, and it now has more durability again. I think there's only a certain amount of times you can reinforce stuff where it doesn't really do much anymore, so... <laughs> Okay, we'll grab that gelatin. Uh, what happened here? <laughs> I swear that wasn't me. There's like a, a an animal pelt, some bones, and like rotten meat. Mmm. Oh wow, there's some clay right here. Ross is some. Oh, this is a swamp. That's why. Wow. Okay. Well, looks like we found what we needed. <laughs> We got a strength of strength strength of up. What is this RuneScape? <laughs> Let's see. What is? Oh, it's, oh leaves. The, the tree is bare. Yeah, our only, our, our only, um, our only, our, our current only desire for this clay is to make, uh, blowpipes out of them. So we're just gonna try to use all this clay and all our other poles that we have with us to just do that.
And we have blowpipes of varying qualities. All right, that's good enough. We'll just, oh, hello. Hello, little slime I didn't see before. Oh, you split. There's more of you, come here. Sometimes when you hit a slime, they can just split, which just means you just get even more glue out of it. Perfect. We can use that slime to um, strengthen our tongs and our, when we finally make one of these damn things, we can use that to strengthen that too. Just make it last a lot longer. All right, we're just gonna chop through that because as you can see, the plants are going a little a little a little nuts over here. <laughs> like this cucumber spread over here, which kind of got in the way, so. Yeah. <laughs> a little, little rat. About as little as they can make it, really. Okay, those are still very tamed because of all the grass. So we got some branches over here. We'll drop all the other branches we have. How's the water doing here? Still in pure. It's, it's a bit slower to, de to desalinate with the solar stills, but it's fr basically free, so it's well worth your time doing. All right, we're gonna just start another fire on the. I don't have any kindling, huh? Ah, I in fact do not have any kindling. Oh, the rest of these poles are gonna become kindling. We can dismantle them into these dowels, which are kindling. And each pole can basically start two fires, so we're just gonna do that. Now we can start our beach our beach fire. <laughs> Let's see. You can use other forms of liquid to make the uh, the glue, but seawater is basically infinite so I, I use seawater get out of the way fish <laughs> Glue in hand, let's see if we can actually get one of these freaking uh, pipe things to work. We got what? We have one. <laughs> Alright, we have one. Let's see if we can uh, reinforce it and make it good. I mean, it's better. Better still, let's repair it and then reinforce it again. Alright, good enough, whatever. We'll also try to bake the other ones too, just because they'll get us more skill in uh, clay throwing, which is the skill used, that's used for clay, I suppose. A retort, huh? A glass container which can be heated for desalination. A process used to make seawater drinkable. Ah, so that's something you can, you can heat to, you can use to um, not passively make do um, desalination. I'm not gonna worry about that because like these solar stills are like once you just get a bunch of them going, they're really strong because you just don't have to do anything other than pour water into them and then that's it really. We're starting to slightly take some damage <laughs> because um, you see our stamina is like at zero and if you do stuff when your stamina is zero you start just getting hurt. So let's uh, see if we can get some milk from our goat friends here. Oh, see there's some scales already from our snake. Now to collect the scales we'll have to put ourselves at slight risk to collect them. 
because the snake is not tamed, so it will try to attack us when we get close. <laughs> very, very likely it will at least. It might not, but it probably will. So, okay, so we cannot currently gather milk, so let's see if any of our solar stills are done. Not quite. Yeah, that's the problem with these is like if you don't set them up like in advance, you're kind of like in a bad it can be in a bad way. Let's eat some let's just eat this fish. Which just made our thirst worst. Worse, not worst. The thirst the thirst the worst. <laughs> no, I do I do have a um a way around this but it's uh, not a permanent oh excuse me a little rat <laughs> now rats also rats along with uh, rabbits typically count as innocent creatures so if you kill them you usually incur a pretty hefty uh, malign uh, uh, debuff I guess like it, go it goes down significantly and I think just even attempting to attack that little rat Got, got us a, a, a drop there which is not high it's not low enough to um be super problematic like it's definitely not good to have more malign than benign but we're we'll be okay he should not harm them and not should not look into their business yeah they're, they're, they're usually busy doing stuff like making more rabbits Because that's like the one thing they're really good at is just making more of themselves. <laughs> but hey, if you got a skill, you should definitely do it. Do stuff with it. If you're really good at something, you should just apply yourself to that wholeheartedly. Alright, we, 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 we got some of the groundwater there. We can purify it on the campfire here to drink it so we don't like dehydrate ourselves to the point of getting hurt. When we sleep. But since we have a bit more stamina left over now, let's try to do more of this clay shit. Okay, so we have a, a, a wide range of, um... Let's move this cork. I just realized it's. Oh, this plank of hurling. I think I have it separate because it's worth more money. There's also this tannin of worth too. That's worth more money. I get this. Bu the buff this one specifically has is value, which makes it worth like 165 credits. Alright, so that's cleared out. We're gonna put all these little uh, pipes on the ground now, because frankly, I don't really care which one is uh, used. Like, they'll all be used if we're making glass. Okay, now we can make, we can use two sand, refined sand, one limestone, a cork to make a glass bottle. Nice. That's gonna be really nice to have. In the meantime, we're going to attach this bottle to this and we'll get more water kind of desalinating passively. Of course, it's nighttime now, so it's probably not gonna really do much good yet, but that's, oh, hello. Oh, perfect timing, Mr. Spider. Let's see if you, do you like spider meat, maybe? We have tamed the spider. It, it, it came here trying to start a fight, but we, we, we made a friend. Well, I don't know if I'd say, say friend, but. All right, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hitch this Hitch a spider to the post. Now we have a spider. Thanks, spider. All right, let's go to sleep. <laughs> now that we've cap, we've we've captured a spider against its will. Hydrate. Thank you. Good morning, three Gs. Hope you're doing well today, friend. Uh, 
I have some water. I have some coffee left too. I'm gonna drink some of that while we're at it. Ah. Despite my best efforts, we did start dehydrating due to sleep. Which is probably what woke us up, admittedly. Oh, hello, Chonker. I was getting a little hungry. <laughs> Chop. Ooh, how's that? I I know that I know the first uh, God of War, like the new God of War, was pretty good. And it's cool that like Kratos is now just fighting other pantheons. Now he's like, you know what? We're gonna go fuck up the Norse gods now. Fuck, fuck them. <laughs> oh, we've been playing this. Oh wow. Well, that that's really good actually, because I heard that one was really. I've well, I've watched people play that one, so I like, definitely good stuff. So our, our, our main goal for this stream was to get uh, some solar stills go going, and well, we, we got them going, and they're they're now starting to pay dividends because we just come up here and just drink drink water from them, and then we can just grab water from like the ocean here, and pour more in, and then it'll just kind of make more water for us. And honestly, we're probably gonna try to get like some more. <laughs> Let's see if I can do some like some sneaky water routing, cause I could like have the water come this way maybe. So we're gonna move some stuff around. Oh, we've we've been capturing animals too, by the way. We've got this snake here that's just shitting out scales. And our our most recent um, friend is this uh, spider, who will make silk when it's just kind of standing around. So we, 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 we're, we're, we're making a bit of a zoo. <laughs> well, all that stuff rotted beyond use. That's unfortunate. Well, we are a little peckish here, so... Um, let's do it. We're going to do the fun... Uh, the, the fun backup strat that I like to do when I do, do this tainted meat. Because if you eat tainted meat, you can um, you can get sick, which is you know not ideal because it's you know not generally safe to eat. However, <clears throat> if you do eat the tainted meat and you get sick, you can just make a medic medicinal water and cure it, and then it's like you basically just it's like it never happened. Plus, you just gain some good food because this tainted meat's like eight hunger, which is really good for how easy it is to get. Like, we're gonna eat one. And we didn't get poisoned, so now we don't have to even worry about the medicine, so. Easy. Frankly, I think, I really feel like they should, um, make it to where that always poisons you. Like, guaranteed, if you eat that. Well, now we're kind of in an awkward spot. Well, we're not that awkward of a spot. Let's get another. We'll make another b glass bottle. We find we can do that now too. Uh, let's see. It's, we had to smash up some more sand. Let's go to our kiln. Our apple trees here grew. That's nice. It's like extra food on top of extra food. Let's light our kiln, and we can. Oh, I need another cork before I can do anything with that. You make corks out of bark, I believe. Which we have some bark here. Let's. Cork. Okay, got a cork of aptitude. Uh, it's not worth too much more. Um, it's not worth much more credits than otherwise, but it will make a uh, hopefully a better um, bottle out of it. Nice. Eh, it's a pretty standard bottle. Yeah, our main limiting factor for making glass things is this limestone powder, so we'll have to go get- I found where some limestone was, it was a bit far away. But, that's fine. I 
we can use our bottle so we can um, gather some liquid. Let's start another. Oh, I need to make more kindling shit. That's honestly one of my big uh, banes is currently is kindling. However, we can we can we can we can account we can get around this. Cause one log turns into four poles, and then four poles turn into eight kindling, basically. You gotta dismantle everything, but you know, it's whatever. It's the price of doing business. And also later today, I will be uh, playing. A, I'll be starting a new mod pack in place of Sevtech. I've, I've played Sevtech for like 28 streams or so worth, and I feel like I kind of feel like we ended on a good spot. Like I was able to get to the moon and fight the moon boss, and like I always wanted to get to the freaking space in Sevtech because you started like literally a literal caveman, like with rocks and sticks, and we got to space. I feel like that's a pretty good place to end, end it off on. At least I feel like it is. Alright, now we have some kindling. We can uh, start that fire I wanted to start. Make some more... Make some animal glue. And... I guess we can try to... Well, I guess making bottles doesn't take tongs. Which is interesting to say the least. Figured it would. Anyway, let's look at our tools, cause Oh that our our hoe is a bit damaged, so let's uh repair the hoe with the hammer and then we'll reinforce it. We're still using stone tools. We haven't quite gotten to metalworking yet, but getting glass stuff made was kind of like the, the next step I wanted to get towards getting a little bit more civilized. Okay, so let's do five. So it's. My, my idea here is to have um, stills on each side of this like water channel. And since this is connected to the ocean, I want to say it should, uh, yeah, it should, <coughs> excuse me, it should just be basically infinite water. Now, if this was separated, I'd probably be able to pick the water up, but since it's connected, I think it works as, like, an infinite kind of water source in that case. Which is good, because we can just, like, drink water from here, pour this in, and it'll just, it's just water. Forever free, easy. All right, we're gonna crush up this sand and take it inside. In part because we're gonna need more of these solar stills to just guarantee that we'll always have water on hand. It'll just make life a lot easier. So one of the struggles of the earlier game is just constantly having to like manage getting water. So we're, we're going to eliminate that problem right the fuck now. Let's drop all of our piles of beach sands. With how much work we're doing over here with the beach sand, we'll probably just move the pestle mortars over. Yeah. You can probably see where I'm going with this, though. Is like I'm basically making little uh, areas that have water in between so that I can just reach over grab water pour it in and then just have like like this like this another set of these here is probably more than enough but it's never enough in these kind of games you always gotta do more like go big or go home <laughs> and I for one do not plan on going home <laughs> hi pookie see you sauntering away A little scamp Yeah, we're gonna drop all these piles of sand like over here on the ground. Let's 
let's see, we'll drop these until I can move without hurting myself, and then we'll just drop even more. Okay, we'll pick up all of these. We'll drop these too. And... Oh, we got we got a big spike in um, malign because we got a strength boost. What the? Balance those out. But what we can also do is we can place sand out here in the deeper water to make it shallow water, which will um, make sure sharks can't just roll up on us while we're dealing with our water situation. So now we're pretty safe. We're safe from sharks from in this area right here. <clears throat> we'll have another well we'll have a set here a set here and I'll have another set up there too just kind of trim the coast down a little bit over here so you can set down these tiles of sand as well more and we'll put that there which should keep the sharks mostly away <clears throat> I mean, how many um, 13 all right that's not a round number so we'll just use one of these and of course we can just use other sand from other beaches to make more stuff too as it is these stills are already just completely full of fresh water or we don't have to do literally anything to make more water just other than just pour more water in and if we need to go traveling somewhere we can swap bottles around like we can um take the bottle that's there put a another bottle on for a fact should probably make a chest out here just for bottles <laughs> as i make more and more bottles i can just have like tons of bottles of water just hanging out and then we're just good to go what is this fishing net I don't know how that works. I don't know how the fishing net works, so we're gonna just uh, not worry about it. I think there's some animal pot, animal skins over here. We'll just drop all those. I think we have, I thought we had a pile of bones. We probably did at some point. There's like those bones. There we go. I need to clear my inventory out just a little bit. It's a little... Hi, Bubba. Hi, sweetie boy. Little fluffy bastard. I won't, have a, I won't have a webcam set up, otherwise I would show off my stinky little shitlord to the world more often. I usually post stuff about of him on, like, Twitter or whatever, but... Alright, this grass is still growing, that's growing. And once this is all grown, we can put fences on it, because that's kind of like the aesthetic I was wanting to go for. We do have we have some seeds here that are superior. We're probably gonna try to do a similar thing like this with the uh, fertile soil to have them spread. I could probably just do that with this like an area over here. It's kind of out of the way. Oh, hello. Perish. Claw worm. Like when you're digging up stuff, sometimes these worms come out of the ground. Hi, Bubba. He's a very fluffy boy. Drop all piles of gravel. <clears throat> now, the upside of um, having your strength go up is that you can have a little more carry weight, which is always nice. Hmm. 
Let's see, fertile soil is... Fertilizer. Oh, okay, they changed things up a little bit. So you can't just make fertile soil out of uh, compost anymore. So you need uh, bone meal. Com you need compost as part of it, though. You need ashes, bone meal, and compost. Well, we have plenty of all that stuff. It's just I needed to know what I needed. So some of these, we can grab a... Uh, how many of these? Can I dismantle you into a... Okay, I can turn you into bone fragments, and I can crush that up. To bone meal. See, I didn't think bone meal had a use otherwise, so now we can make some uh, fertilizer and some fertile soil. We can set that down. We can till the ground with our hoe, and we can plant one of these um, maple seeds. I probably should do it somewhere where the trees can actually grow, which is not on gravel, so let's. Uh, actually move that somewhere else. <laughs> I know I literally just placed it down, but, you know, whatever. I'm indecisive, okay? Uh, let's, uh, fucking goat. This goat's gonna give me problems, isn't it? Nope, not five. Six. I need a hoe. There we go. Alright, and we'll put this superior seed and Let's get this goat and locate it somewhere else. You can do that by offering it some, some grass in this trying time. And then it'll follow us around and we can just kind of lead it off somewhere else. Like the last goat that I had to do this with, I brought them over here. And I think they're probably still running around. There's a rabbit and there's a slime. Yep, that goat's still just over here. It's, it's just been shitting everywhere. <laughs> We'll drag this one over here. Okay, and then we'll release. And it ran away. Okay, cool. I guess while we're at it, we can kill this slime. If it wants to not go near the goats. Alright, cool. And off we go. Yeah, the new mod, the new my Minecraft mod pack I'll be playing. It's not like new, new, but I think it's like a pretty recently made one. It's new to me. Well, fairly new because I've been play testing it. Yeah, we're gonna wait till there's more spider silk there before we worry about doing anything with that. There's like six scales there. I don't know how many scales we need for armor, but we'll just kind of let that snake marinate over there. Cause that's what snakes do best, right? They marinate. <laughs> They're accomplished chefs in that fact, I guess. They just... Oh, I just left this corpse here. Let me, uh... Let me get that. What is Versace? I don't know what that is. I, I think I've seen something about it, but I can't really remember what that's supposed to be. Twitch is like, oh, gaming! That means you want to play some stupid pay-to-win dog shit. When you're playing a single-player like, freaking like, 8-bit game. Or I guess it'd probably be closer to a 16-bit game with how, like, many colors there are. Anyway, There's something in your way of digging. A luxury fa- Oh, God. Yeah, no, that's um probably not my target audience. Most of my target- not saying that my target audience is not well dressed, but they maybe not the maybe not the maybe or maybe not that well dressed. <laughs> Like, the, the drip is not overflowing, I guess, you could say. Is this, uh, more stones. Wait, can I just build these? 
I, have to, I think I have to make floors if that's what I was wanting to do with those. Yeah, you can make like stone floors, but auto save. Okay, auto save. We'll start beach fires over here now, I guess. <laughs> now it'd probably be smarter for me to like build a campfire on the beach right here and do stuff with that. We're gonna make. We're gonna cook this uh, worm meat. Mmm, -mm -mm, worm meat. The, the final death throws. Oh, I must add some other fluid in my water skin here, because I didn't use the seawater that I specifically got for, um... So that's why it's, pays it's good to pay attention to what order your uh, containers are in, because things are used from the top left. So if you have, like, a container of goat milk and a container of seawater, for example, and you try to make glue with the tournament glue it'll probably use the goat milk first because it's top left or whatever I kind of just wasn't paying attention doesn't really matter that much really because I mean if it was water we've got water and we're about to have even more water so let's see what we have here what are we gonna use this glue on is the main thing uh, let's Ah, that's probably what I need to use the glue on is There we go, that's a much stronger uh, thing We'll just kind of Crunch up all this sand Great, we got some some level ups uh, let's see. Chemistry. Can increase metabolism. Hunger and thirst. Oh, we, a refined sand of worth and hurling. Well, I guess we can't use that one because it's actually worth some money. Let's see. Like, that's... That one... That... This pile of sand that I crunched up with a pestle mortar is now worth like 190 credits, <laughs> which is a little silly, but we'll um, we'll take this inside. Oh, hello! Look who just spawned out of nowhere. Thanks, thanks, but no, but thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> At this point, though, I'm probably strong with the face. Rain, like the lower level stuff that spawns when you have higher malign, but that doesn't mean I want to. Where are you, Bubba? I heard you. <laughs> he just He's just yelling. I don't even know where he is. Oh, he's running around the living room like a little heathen. That's okay. He can do that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's... Was... I don't really care about that one, so we're gonna drop this inside. How much fine sand is that? One, two, six, like 13. Well, if I get another, if I dig up another sand from somewhere, that could be 14. And that, that's basically like seven bottles. We don't have enough limestone powder for that, so we're probably going to um, try to empty out our bag and then go get the rest of that limestone that was in that other place. Hello, stinky boy. He's not really that stinky, surprisingly. He can actually clean himself. <laughs> so he's not super stinky. And yeah, and, he, and unlike my, my my roommate's cat, he actually buries his shit. <laughs> Granted, my roommate's cat's a little more feral. Like he came from outside, like he was born outside, and then he got brought inside, and he's like just tame enough not to like shit and piss and everything. But you know, you know, cats. 
you know, they do they do stuff. What is this? Oh yeah, that's something else I was thinking of doing. Let's make a camp. Let's make a campfire and put it on the beach. What's this? Uh, bone fragments. That's fine. That way, when we start fires, they'll actually last for a while, and they won't just like possibly spread everywhere. Anyway, let's get some water, and we'll make more glue out of the, uh, the rat pieces. And we could just, like, cook the giblets, but, eh. They don't give you an awful lot of, uh, hunger for what they do. I'd rather have the glue for... for making your stuff better. Alright. Alright, we'll pour more water and that'll just make more water. Easy. Easy day. Uh, glue, what are we using you for? Nah, I don't care about the tree bark being superior. Spider silk can go there. We can also put this uh, stripped bark, because that's another thing for making... Uh, String out of and sinew as well. I'm actually gonna drop just a pile of these animal claws. So, so I'm like running out of places to put things. <laughs> Because they just have stuff everywhere. Like, we don't need that many animal claws on us. Because you kind of get one of those, like, every time you, uh... You fight, like, a rat or whatever. We'll, we'll keep this green one on us. I'm just trying to reduce the amount of weight that we have on our person. Because we don't need all this weight with us all the time. We can keep those tongs there too. Now ideally I could have more chests to do stuff with, but eh. We'll put this animal fat in here and I'll, I'm totally won't forget about it, totally. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? How's our hammers doing? Hammers are doing pretty good considering how like much they uh, get used to fix things. They're doing pretty good. But yeah, we're gonna reinforce our... Oh, Jesus Christ, that fire plow is massive. Which is fine, because we, we use our fire plow to start fires. don't even know why we have this bow drill. I was initially gonna make this bow drill, because it's a higher tier fire, but like... This fire plow is doing fine, so we'll just uh, put this away. That'll also save us some weight, too. There's a spider silk. I think a spider got stuck in here at some point. I don't know how, but it did. Alright, it's about nighttime, so we're gonna start a fire and sleep. Alright, we slept for 10 hours. What are you doing? He's. My, my cat, like, ran over next to my desk and was kind of, like, looking around. And I, like, looked at him and I was like, what are you doing? He, like, just bolted off. Like a little, like a little bastard. Oh. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Alright, well, thanks for... Thanks for the food, I guess. <laughs> Purify water, let's drink. 
There's a shark, which is more food. That's okay. This grass here is grown. Let's grab. We'll keep one container on us. Which one's lighter? This one is 2.1, and that one is 1.4. Yeah, well, glass is lighter than leather usually. That way we can uh, just uh, get more water going before we leave, because we're gonna go uh, get more limestone. Nah, I'm not that concerned about, uh, what is all of this? Oh, it's just all the random, it's all the random stuff. Still only six skills, that's fine. Alright, so we're gonna head back over this way, in the light of the day. Grab some apples while we're over here, just cause... We can kinda munch on those. To get our hunger back up. It'll also get our thirst up too. So, so the apples are just a nice little survival food. And, you can, and they always give seeds when you eat them, so they're very easy to just make more apples happen. I think it was over here, I think. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a cucumber, hello. That, that might have been where I got my first stock of cucumbers from. Oh no, it was further, it was further afield where I found the limestone. I remember having to go through this kind of area. Uh, yeah, that's grass. Yeah, I think it was over there. Maybe? Hmm. Granted, I was like just. Ooh, scales, grab those. I was just kind of stumbling around in the dark. <laughs> All right, oh, wow, yeah, there. Here, we found it again. Alright, so. Oh, there's a lot of limestone here. Uh, we're gonna take as much of it as we can get. Yeah, we're gonna have to grind up a bunch of benign after this because mining rocks, uh, as you can see, lowers or raises your malign. It's not a case of it lowering your benign so much as like your malign uh, raises instead of your benign. And you're, you're, you're meant to balance them out so that you don't have too hard of stuff coming after you. There you go. You just hop right up there on the... I have like a little dresser kind of thing on my near my uh, my desk he likes he likes sitting up there and just staring at me <laughs> All right. I probably need to get another backpack or two because that will that greatly like increase the amount of stuff you can just haul back with you and I'm like unless you set up like a base near like the places like this to actually process this stuff you tend to um need to haul it around Alright, and with that, we are uh, full up on stuff. We might be able to fit like one more limestone, but we'll just come back for it. 
probably need to make another backpack to haul stuff around with, so. It's fine. It doesn't have to have, like, literally all my tools in this bag. Because I have, like, everything set up to where, like, if I, like, walk into the rock wall, I'll use the pickaxe. Or if I walk into a tree, I'll use it. So I don't have to have them equipped. So it lets me put all them, those tools in this bag, which makes them way less overall because the, the weight's reduced. But, um, yeah. So this bag that has all this stuff is just, like massively overweight by just having tools in it too so another bag would make transporting stuff even easier which if we start getting into like blacksmithing with like iron and like copper and stuff like that it's a little it or is heavy <laughs> goats just wandering around Okay, that pestle mortar is right there. So we're gonna just start. Featherweight, that's great, cool. <laughs> uh, let's move all to backpack. Can't move all of it, but we can at least move now, and we can just try to drop it all, like, kind of there. It's probably going to be in my best interest to put a chest here. Ooh, we have coal in the wall. It's probably going to be in our best interest to put a chest here with, all, like, all this stuff in it. Because it'd probably be able to hold the, a little better than the ground. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Had to do a stretch, because... It's good to stretch every once in a while, especially if you're going to be sitting for a long a while. Oh, it looks like it didn't crunch all of it up. I must have got distracted. Okay, we're going to have to split this limestone stuff between, uh... We have some more limestone we can ground up, so let's do that. Alright, that's that's honestly probably gonna be more enough limestone for a while, but you know. Okay. For now we'll put the limestone other limestone here. And the tongs there as well. But we're, we should make a chest. Let's see, how, how close are we to maxing out these two? Well, for now, we're just gonna do the fun uh, way to grind up easy, um, like the way to grind up easy benign is to just dig up grass and uh, just replant it. Because if you use a hoe, you gain benign instead of losing it when you mine. So we're gonna find just a nice patch of grass like away from our base that I don't have to look at. <laughs> I think there's some right here we're gonna probably not look at very much. Oh, there's a spider. And we'll fight the spider. I'll get us a, a benign boost. Because def defending yourself typically, um, defending yourself from hostile creatures tends to give you benign since they're hostile creatures anyway, and if you're not like necessarily instigating, it's not like as bad, I guess. But yeah, let's. We're just gonna get, come to this area. Let's see, it's uh, six. Plus, we get grass so we can use to start fires and feed the goats with. So. So plant, doing this stuff with grass is pretty overpowered. Mm. 
<laughs> got a worm. You can also just use the worms for fishing bait too, so. This is like a multifaceted, like, kind of just strategy of getting more, more shit for as little as possible. Dexterity. Plus, doing this gets your gardening up too, which I think, uh, let's see, gardening. Durability of some plant, of some, of sown plants. Decreases growth time when watering plants. Increases chances of tilling. Decreases chances of stamina reduction. Influences quality and success rate of crafting items regarding gardening. It basically just makes the whole gardening thing better as you go. Alright, I have a hotkey specifically for grass seeds. For planting them. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I need to take another drink of water. I think my throat's a little dry. I say as I gr instinctually grab my coffee cup and just drink some of that. And see the little the, the score up there is going up when I'm planting these grass seeds. It's like now, I don't know what happens when these both get to. 64,000. I don't know if I've ever gotten them that high. Like, I'm sure I've gotten one or the other higher than the other. Probably in the olden days when I would do trees, that I would do that. And, um, let's go with the backpack for now. And we can move all the, uh, we can use this small bag to move all of our, uh, blades of grass. I wouldn't be opposed to just trying to grind out max benign. Because I don't know how... I, th I would imagine if they both get the 64k, they won't go up anymore and you'll just be at zero. But I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> I don't know if there's like one or the other that can like go higher than the other when they're both maxed out. I would imagine if there is one that would go higher, it would be uh, malign so that the game just gets harder and harder. But I don't know. The basic idea of, of it would be is to um, get get a benign and then use that to like progress like to pro to progress your life, I guess. Like get a bit like a big get a big bank of benign and then dig into the mountain to make like a house or something because which kind of what I was doing here. I did want to make like an, an exit tunnel over this way. <clears throat> We didn't really, we haven't really gotten that far. How many skills does it take to make? Oh, I mean, it doesn't really take that many skills to make this armor. Two base defense. How much defense does this give me? Head defense plus one, base plus one. Head defense, two plus two base. It's weak to piercing and blunt, but that's okay. I think overall it's better armor <laughs> than the leather I'm wearing. How many skills you got there, buddy? Uh, still six. Maybe that's, I have a feeling that might be the maximum amount of skills that can um, be in that pile. So we're gonna tend to Ow! Bastard. Bit me. <laughs> well, that's okay. I mean, I, I am... Ooh. Might have to hold on to that, that scale of worth and let that just kind of exist. With my other things of worth or value or whatever. Because the worth um, the worth um, thingy lets you, gets you uh, just 120 more credits, which if there's something hard to get or otherwise... Uh, worth your time paying for it can be nice having that kind of stuff but for now we're gonna just store the scales over here on the, on the beach <laughs> like we do with everything else all 
Alright. Oh. Let's rest on the ground just to get some stamina back. Oh, it's dark. It's dark now. That doesn't mean it's nighttime. Well, it, it wouldn't. It would mean it's not nighttime if, like, in the case of like, right now, like where I live in Illinois, like 5 p.m. It's fucking just dark. <laughs> like the day is over. It's just like, oh man, now I'm depressed. <laughs> What up, fellow Illinoiser? Illinoisy? I don't fucking know. Um, corn enjoyer? I don't <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't mind it too much, because, like, I work a, I, I work an evening shift job anyway, so when I get out of work, it's dark anyway. I would never an <laughs> I'm a transplant. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm mostly from the south, so... I mean, I, don't, I enjoy corn well enough, I guess. But, eh. It's probably not like the biggest of corn. Hello, Twitchy. Hello, hello. How are you doing, dear girl? Twitchy is also a streamer. And you should definitely go follow them. Rough? Well, hopefully you can have a better day today. Matter of fact, let's give you a fucking shout out. Plus, we get to see a clip from you, if that's okay. Do you because when I do the shout out, my shout out command does a, uh, oh no, ads. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll hold on a sec. I'll, I'll take a drink of my coffee while we wait for that, for Bezos to get his ball sock off your eyeballs. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you for the sub. Yeah, I don't have anything fancy for, like, any of those things. It's, fuck you, Subaru. <laughs> Fucking cars. You think we can afford cars? We have to go back to the old days where it was a horse and buggy like the Amish. <laughs> well, let me know when you're back and we'll do the shout out then. Because, um, yeah. Much less the new super. Yeah, fuck that. Like, as is, I'm paying on a car because I have to, like. I have to, like, I have to have a car to get to my job, so I have to be paying on a car, so I'm kind of stuck. But it's not a new car by any fucking means. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Are you, are you, are you, are you among the living, Twitchy? <laughs> have the car ads left you alone? <laughs> okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if the sub thing happened, um, like, while you, like, before the ad or not. I'm glad this game's turn-based. I'm just sitting here in the dark, staring at the, the ocean. <laughs> okay, cool. Lego Star Wars. Pew, pew! What is, <laughs> what is going on there? Is that like how the game's supposed to look? <laughs> like, was there supposed to be this, like that poison blob there? <laughs> okay, the dang logo Star Wars looks wild. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a you're winning. Oh. <laughs> Well, you it looks like you were winning. Like, uh, I remember a day. I remember the days when I was winning. How, how do you do, fellow kids? Are you winning? <laughs> All right, do we have any water here? I'm, I really hope so. Let's drink. Drink in the front. We're also a little peckish. We can eat this worm. Mmm. 
Delicioso. We also have some spider meat that we've been holding on to. Like, actually a decent amount of it. So we'll just munch it. We'll, we'll have some pre- we'll have some pre-sleep spider meat. Mmm. We'll, we'll eat, have some spider meat before bed and have some when we wake up. I'll we'll probably just eat all of it now. It's like when you go to the fridge to get like a piece of cheese before you go to sleep. <laughs> Except it's spider meat. Slept for 10 hours. Must have been the spider meat. Mmm. Now we're starving again. I guess let's eat this worm before it like goes bad. Who's who's outside? Oh! The rat army's outside. Well, I was just saying I needed some food. Where's the next rat at? <laughs> just the welcoming the rat welcoming party is just like there. We're making a pile of their pelts. Maybe as a warning, but I'm also just lazy and just want the pelts to go there. Alright, well. Let's see. That one needs water in it. This one has water in it. We'll drink from this one. And since we have these solar stills, we can just grab water from the ocean right here. Pour it back in pour back in the still and let it just keep desalinating. It's pretty sweet. What we can also do is we have these uh these this offal which is like guts, organs, and other stuff from those rats that decide to like exist in my presence. So we can use those to make uh we can use those to make uh animal glue. So just grab some more seawater to do that with. And then with the with the embers, we can make some delicious poison meat. Well, it's <clears throat> now you're, you're I'm, I'm guessing you're meant to like turn this into like pemmican so that it's not poison anymore, and it'll also just like last a lot longer. But we're not gonna do that because <laughs> we don't need to do that. We can um we can kind of cheese things a little bit. Let's um let's, um. Can I not like just take the water? Oh, this still is that still is empty. Okay, well, it's a good thing that this one has some water in it because we're gonna gather the water out, and we're gonna go next to our pile of plant roots here, which are medical items, and we're gonna start eating this like possibly like food poison freaking meat here. Oh, we didn't. We just didn't get poisoned. Great. Well, now we can just drink the water because if we did get poisoned. We could just make some medicine water, and then um, the poison would go away, and then we could get in a net benefit of just eating the poison meat for f basically free. But now we can just drink that. Let's get some more water kind of going. Well, from fighting all those rats, we have a bunch of benign now because we de we're defending ourselves against the, the rat hordes, I guess. Now that our stats are all nice and full up too, we can, um, first and foremost, look at our stuff here. Is there anything that needs some reinforcement? Maybe our hammers, because we... We use ha we, these hammers are we use to repair literally everything. So having them use a hammer to repair a hammer, <laughs> so having a good some pretty strong hammers is good for keeping your stuff in tip top shape. Anyway, we just, we just got a, just a pile of garbage on the floor everywhere. We're gonna get a chest to put in this spot here. So let's go get some wood, preferably from dead trees. Be humble, be humble, goat. Be humble, be humble, be humble, be humble, be humble. 
I mean, we could probably fight the goats if we really had to, but I don't really want to because if we need them, we can uh, we can we can tame them with grass and then just have them as like defense animals. All right, so let's dismantle that, and then we'll dismantle that again and. I want to say chests take three. Maybe they take more. I oh, don't know. We're just going to turn these all to planks anyway. Okay, chests take eight, six planks each. Jeez. Maybe that's like three logs worth. It, it, it reminds me of, like, the movement you have to do in this game to, like, avoid enemies, like, like the goats is, like, kind of like playing chess. Alright, we're gonna pick up all this stuff, and we'll put this chest down. Well, slowly but surely, you just clean up the floor. Wow, all that all that stuff that was on the floor can all fit in that chest. I'm honestly impressed. I didn't think that, all, I didn't think that much stuff was going to fit in there. <laughs> but it sure did. We can even put the tongs in there, too. And anything that's an adjacent container seat you can use for crafting, so we could uh, just make a bunch of stuff out of all that stuff we have, once we light the kiln up at least. 26 limestone powder, jeez. It might be worth our, uh, yeah, we're going to break this down, we're going to make another chest, chest to go there too. So we can just store even more garbage. <laughs> So, uh, let's find another tree to harass. Okay, that cucumber plant's budding. Once it fully grows, we'll, we'll, we'll pick it. We'll pick everything, dig those up, and that should give us some better seeds to plant there. And hopefully those will spread to make even more. It's kind of my plan with the cucumbers right now. Now, we don't have to, um... We don't have to like kill dead trees to get wood we could just chop down any tree we really want to but dead trees are uh, use less uh, benign they generate less uh, malign rather in comparison We're gonna dismantle this one too. Six, and then we'll dismantle these for. Move these in here. Cause on the plus side of using these, um, like when we break these poles down, we get dowels, and these can be used for kindling to start fires, but they can also be used to make the chests, the chests that we're trying to make. So. They sort of like double duty as just being really useful fucking things. All right, there's the chest. Cool. Okay. For now, I might just move, like, all this... Ah, uh, well... Ah, oh, shit. No, I didn't really mean to do that, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm fine with just leaving these on the ground out here for now. We'll figure it out. I can just have, like, a massive pile of tree bark on the floor, because it weighs so little. Drop that. Move that. Move. That, that, 
those, move those, move those, move those. The music in the game, this game is pretty solid for what it is. I quite like it. Goat, this is not where you're supposed to be. We'll tame this goat and we'll just lead it off somewhere else. Like I've been doing for some, I don't know if they just keep spawning because it's like a mountainy area or something, like near the cliffs, but goats just keep happening. Like there's probably like two or three of them, but just, yep. <laughs> <laughs> there's like two there's like two other ones up here that I've had to like lead away from my compound. And we'll just uh release. And we'll it'll just kind of go off on its own merry little way. Great, so you can milk the goats to get milk, but now we're, now we're getting these uh these uh, solar stills set up, that's going to be a little less important. Okay. Sitting on a bunch of grass seeds. We'll probably put those down because we'll need them right now. For now, we're gonna in this. For now, we're gonna put our little small bag in our. We'll keep our tool bag on us. This backpack here, but we'll put this uh in there for now because we don't really we're gonna go just mine more uh more limestone and bring it back there's like a bit more left and i just want to have as much space frankly though if we really want space we can just bring the pickaxe with us and leave the rest of this stuff here with this backpack which i think we'll we'll do actually like yeah that, that reduced our weight by a lot <clears throat> i said we're gonna I wonder if standing next to that chest will let us uh, dismantle the hides. Although I don't think I need a. Uh... Okay, it looks like it still has. Oh, we it'll use our axe. Whatever, that's fine. Yeah, we need uh, two um, hides. Okay, we'll do that. Put that back away. Like, this game's got a lot of systems, like, working in it. Let's get some more tannin. Okay, and then we can use that tannin with these hides. Let's grab... Pretty sure we're gonna need a uh, few strings, so we'll grab this string and we'll head back to our. We'll grab, we'll grab our tool bag out, and we're gonna make another backpack. No, the backpacks only take. Oh, uh, they, no, oh, they take two. I was just. Um... Okay. Your bone needles need a repair. That's fine. Whatever. Pretty sure that's the heavy one. Uh, let's see, equal sign. Nope. Maybe it is. Okay, yeah, that's. Never mind. That's the. Uh... All right, so. This one is empty, and we have like 32, we have like 32 weight on us, so we've got a lot of weight that we can just 
just afford to fill up with limestone. Uh, let's see, are these purified, 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 and purified? Let's take a drink and we'll... And we'll refill it before we leave. Just trying to be, just trying to be wise about our water usage, because otherwise we'll just, otherwise you screw yourself over and they don't have water, and then you just like start dehydrating while you're trying to scramble to find water. So let's not do that. <laughs> well, this going this way was a mistake because there's just trees everywhere in the way. Well, I could probably sneak through here. Me IRL just sabotaging yourself. No, no, no hydration, no nothing. Just de dehydration, just slowly withering away. Yeah, feel that. Speaking of which, I'm gonna just drink the rest of my coffee real quick. It's cold now, but that's fine. It's not like it was fancy coffee anyway. It was like a, I have a K, I have a K, a little K cup machine I got for Christmas like two so years ago that I'm still just using because the pods are really cheap when you buy them in bulk. So that's how I do coffee nowadays. So I'm, nah, I just took a set, let's drink the rest. It's already cold anyway. Your New Year's resolution to become a prune. No, wa no water, just, just prune. <laughs> what the hell happened there? Okay, so now we need to head north around the side of the mountain here. No water, just vibes. <laughs> the thirstiest little prune ever. <clears throat> All right, yeah, I think it was, yeah, it was over here that we had the uh, my previous activities with the limestone. Okay, drop everything that's not limestone. There's a goat. It's, it's it's coming right for us. <laughs> All right, limestone is in there. Is there anything? Oh, that goat's just been kind of here. Well, we can scout around and see if I can find any more. Cause, hmm. There might be another mountain over there. We can go check that one out. Or maybe it's just not another mountain. Gather the groundwater there. We'll probably end up making a fire somewhere to sleep by if it's getting too dark to do much with. Dude! <laughs> that sounds from one of the uh, mobs from the Subtech uh, pack I've played for like a million years. It's called the Trumpet Skeleton and it has a little trumpet and it just doots at you. <laughs> Yeah, that's something I got nowadays. I was able to fi I was able to figure out how to get it to finally fucking work. Cause I I, str I fought with it for a while and I finally got it to work and I was like, you know, cool. It's corn. Cool. We found we found corn. I guess. Maybe this is really, maybe this is really Illinois, or Iowa, or ugh, Ohio. <laughs> Disguise. It's corn. <laughs> I'm just kind of wandering around. 
Oh, there's just a random lettuce out in the wild here. Well, don't mind if I do. We can just use our hoe. Oh, we don't have our hoe on us. Well, I guess we're just carrying some some lettuce seeds with us. This, <laughs> this game takes place in your backyard, which happens to be a uh, deserted island. Now let's dismantle one of these. Because that'll give us a corn seed and we'll eat the other corn. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, it's getting a little dark. Ooh, we found ooh, we found more limestone. Just like in the middle of the mountains over here. Chives. Mmm. Just eating random shit I'm finding in the ground. This really is Illinois. A, a deserted island in the middle of Illinois. <laughs> exactly. I mean, at this point, I probably just go home. But the critters of the dark aren't really that scary. But I think we've got enough hunger to where we can just kind of get by. Uh, let's. has joined the bean army thank you and for the follow hope you're doing well today thanks for stopping in I appreciate that I'm just here I'm just here having a good time playing games and hopefully entertaining at least someone <clears throat> I play games like this, where this is like a survival roguelike turn-based game. I play games like this and Minecraft, and I have a big, big fetish for JRPGs too. So well, that stuff you, that sounds like you enjoy. Well, tune in, I guess. <laughs> uh, we're, we're currently wandering around at night mining limestone because I want to make more glass, and you need limestone for glass. And I have some at home, but I was just kind of exploring around anyway to find it. Find, just finding more of it just leaving rocks everywhere as a warning to other <laughs> other mountains oh why'd I drop those <sighs> whatever I, I meant to move okay so we are our ba this bag is just full of limestone now <laughs> Let's, we're gonna drop the rest of this garbage on the ground and we'll probably just head back now because, you know, whatever. It's night, but we can kind of see where we've been. For, if we run into a forest, that might give us some trouble because it's just dark as shit. Okay, we reached a beach, so we'll probably be able to find our way back pretty easily we can even do a, get, get a little bit of swimming in I was like, I was like, how am I still able to get this stuff? And the answer is because I have an axe. <laughs> and my axe. Okay, yeah, our base is over there, so we're probably going to end up clearing some trees out from this side. Because eventually I do want to have, like, a big, like, exit tunnel like, over here. Just so I can get in and out in various ways, but... 
Alright, so we're gonna... I'm also surprised I haven't ran into any rats or spiders or anything yet, because this is, this is their time of the night to be just kind of spawn around and be obnoxious. Uh, we're gonna go drink some water from our stills real fast. I think I can actually pour this, uh... This does not need to undergo the desalination process. Do you want to pour it in the still to purify? Yeah, that actually works great. <laughs> cause, that, Cause that groundwater, I can just purify that instead of the salt water. It doesn't really matter to me necessarily. All right, we'll start a fire. I don't have my fire starting stuff on me. I, I didn't really. All right, let's move. let's move as much of that limestone as possible to the chest. Grab out our little kindling bag again for fires. Grab our other bag out. Put that one away for now. Let's start a fire. I'll, my the inside of my 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 base here is still very dirty and gross. <laughs> okay. Now let's sleep. And when we wake up, there's probably gonna be like two or three rats outside the door. <clears throat> Which is another reason to have a different, like an exit, like tunnel on like a different side of the mountain. So that if there are enemies outside that, like, cause, yeah, see there's a spider here. Where you going, fucker? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, because, like, the enemies will, like, kind of just... Like, if they can't get to you, they'll just kind of queue up. Ooh, a spider silk of worth. That spider silk is now worth, like, 175 credits. Because it just spawned in one of those a spider silk that's worth a lot of money. For no real known good reason, but that's fine. We'll just... We'll add it to the rest. <laughs> What's our scores looking like here? Well, our benign's higher, so that's that's the, the important thing. I don't know what happens when you get them both to 64K. I'm guessing that they don't go up anymore, but I don't really know. I don't know if I've ever gotten them that high. How's our water doing? Purified? Cool. Yeah, the whole, the whole point of me going and getting all that uh, limestone was so I could just make more of these. So I could just have like endless water all the time so I can make more bottles too I need to go grab my pestle and mortar or I could just make another one right here from the various rocks that are on the floor Okay, move all limestone powder to the chest. This shit's heavy. I need to start using some of this. <laughs> In the meantime, though, I can just drop the rest of it on the floor here. It, it does not buy like three logs in my backpack. It's a little. It's a little heavy. I can start making fences though, because all the grass is uh, grown that I want to. Um... Like all the grass is grown that I need around here to have my little farm that have the way I want it. So we can make a first wooden fence and start putting it in. It's gonna take a lot of logs, so we're gonna be basically, uh... Cutting... 
We're gonna get a bunch of, we're gonna get some some branches here and then dismantle them. And then we're gonna go up to trees and just chop them down. Because <laughs> each, uh, each of these fences is gonna need like two logs a piece, so we're gonna need to, uh, Brutalize some trees and for, for better or for worse. All right, got some good logs here. I might want to save those for other purposes. So for now, we're gonna drop those. We'll Let's see. I think it's minus for that. Let's move all the twigs. Move all the leaves. Move all the seeds. <laughs> We're just like trying our best to like just scrape by with as little space as possible. Which I might be able to just do just barely okay, we can move now. So I don't I don't want to use these logs to make these fences if possible. Okay, we have an extra log, so we'll just drop that. And now we can start building more of these fences. Oh, there's another spider. Our first little bit of infrastructure. And we are, at, like, out <laughs> of stamina here. Uh, let's see, let's drink some water and then we'll, like, kill this spider. Because it's, it's going to come over here to pick a fight. All right, fucker, come here. <laughs> Not much of a fight, mind you, but a fight nonetheless. Now, the spider meat, when it's cooked, is not super filling. Like, it's like two. So what we could try to do is... Why is there a fish out here? You know what? I'm not going to question it. We're just going to... Get... Just get... Free fish! <laughs> So, some sometimes the universe just smiles upon you and you're just like okay thanks thanks for all the fish there we go that'll, that'll, that'll start our, hun our hunger for now mostly I would love if I could find some more sharks because I can fight sharks pretty uh, easily with this level of gear I have now I'm gonna bully this fish, I guess. I try to. Okay, yeah, we need to get back on shore because they see we're exhausted, so we're just taking damage while we're swimming. Because swimming takes uh, energy. You know, we haven't done it in a minute. Let's go to our little uh, our goat friends here and we'll get some milk from them because they'll give us a little bit of food back too. Let's repair this bottle. I can just make bottles now, but there's no reason to let it just break for no good reason. I just I'd just be a little silly. So we, we've got we got a snake uh, ch uh, hitched up here, <coughs> so we can get scales from it for free. Because the snake can't leave now that I've got it hitched up to this hitching post. And we've got a spider here that just is just shitting out silk everywhere. It's just got it tied up. For the sake of keeping the the goats happy, we'll start. We'll, we'll give them some more. Uh, We'll, we'll put some leaves down. They'll, they can eat grass or leaves, like... So, whichever one we kind of feel like giving them is kind of just whatever. 
spiders right you sure you want to destroy it? oh yeah I, there's a setting you could, you could turn on and off that was like if you move on to stuff that we, you would either destroy it by moving to it or you'd hurt yourself. But I, I'm stupid, so I like that setting. It helps me not do very foolish things that I would otherwise just do without thinking. Yeah, before the end of the stream, I want to try getting this fence act, this like a little fenced area actually made. I think that'd be a good, good goal. So let's go find some more trees to bully. If you mostly go after the dead trees, you don't get as much uh, malign points. So, that's usually what I try to go for, is just... Character's just a little tired. Uh, can I fit one of these in my bag? Uh, they weigh 10 pounds. Yeah, it'd be good to be able to get one of those in there. Sweet. And we could uh, rest on the ground briefly to get just a little bit of stamina back. So we don't hurt ourselves to death just trying to like walk around with fences <laughs> yeah it's important to not like overwork yourself to the point of like actually just hurting yourself whether it's a video game this video game or just real life you know the little um, little fenced area is coming along pretty nicely I know there's a way to make a gate How, what does that take wooden dowels um, logs and planks okay that's gonna be a little annoying to make but we're only gonna need two because we have one on each side here so we're gonna need like well let's grab some apples it's kind of the, the point of me planting apples here is to be able to just kind of grab them if I need to top off my hunger and stuff like that Plus, apples always give you seeds, so you can, if you really feel like, you can just plant like millions, millions on millions of, um, overhyd, excuse me, oh, that's new, I didn't know overhydration was a thing, huh, alright, <laughs> I mean, that's a thing in real life too, like, if you have too much water in your system, you'll like, you're like, all the minerals and shit get like, washed away, and you'll just like, be in not a good place. It's like when the Wii was like huge, there was this, like, this lady that like went on this radio show and like there was like something where like drink a blah blah amount of water and you'll win a Wii and she drank too much water and died. <laughs> Yay capitalism. Making, making moms die for Nintendo products since I don't know, 2007? I don't know. Can't remember when it actually happened, but it definitely did. Move to twigs. I'll probably just distribute distribute these leaves among the goat folk to keep them placated. Cause like, 
as my taming skill goes up, I think they get tamed for longer and longer, and then these leaves just last longer and longer, so it's just like... They just kind of hang out here, and I can just take milk from them. Oh, well, we might as well grab these. I keep forgetting there's grass there that I wanted there. We'll, just, we'll grab these apples. The apples have a pretty long shelf life. Ooh, we even got a, a, a green apple that we can uh, use to have better apples. Which I'm guessing if we eat that one, it would get us a, uh, a green seed. Yes, it does. Okay. It's not like super important to do, but I guess we could probably just plant that like over here. It's kind of where I'm like growing stuff to like make it better. So we'll just plant that there and leave that alone for a while. Alrighty. Well, there's not much time left in this stream, so I'm gonna just try to like knuckle down after sleeping here. Just gonna try to knuckle down and freaking uh, get this uh, fence made. Cause the main the main goal of the stream is to get some water stills, and we did that pretty early on. So the rest of the time has just been kind of doing other things to make my life a little better. Surprised? Oh, there he is! I was like, I'm surprised there's not a rat out here, and he was there. Just not in the right, not where I expected him to be. All right, let's drop you. Let's drop. Well, we're not gonna drop the, the bone shard yet because we can use that. We want our little custom made campfire here. Let's start a fire. Makes it glue. I kind of want to reinforce this bottle. There we go. That bottle will last quite a bit longer now. And then we can cook that. Mm. We could probably try to use the spider meat for fishing before it goes bad. Same with the, uh, the worm here. We could also use the spider meat to make pemmican, which... I think it gets you a net positive in hunger compared to like doing spider meat itself, but eh. Not really that concerned because we've got this cooked tainted meat that we can um, utilize and eat that. It poisoned us. Oh no, what will we ever do? Well, we gotta go to one that's not, that's got purified water in it. We'll gather the water. Let's go to our. Uh, our plant pile here make some medicine and we'll drink the medicine and oh we're not poisoned anymore sweet <laughs> good talk <laughs> I that, that feels very exploity but that's within the game's rules and how things work so we we definitely are doing that <laughs> because basically that tainted meat it has a chance to poison you and poison you know, does damage to you but if you eat the meat, you still get like eight hunger out of it, which is pretty good for how easy it is to get that meat. So what you basically do is like eat the meat and if you get poisoned, you make the cure and then you drink the cure and then yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's all you gotta do. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Pretty easy. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweezy. Sweet and easy. Wow. Oh wow, this apple tree down here looks like it grew a little faster than the other ones. Well, those ones will probably be done soon too. And all this grass we dug up. Ah, you little bastard, you hit me. Whatever.
Alright. We're gonna get rid of these trees to gonna be able to access this area, but that's fine by me, cause you know, whatever. These trees are gonna, these trees are gonna be getting gotten rid of at some point anyway. I might end up moving these goats somewhere else, because I mean I can move the hitching posts and the goats once they're tamed. Because they're kind of like in a weird spot. I'll drop the branches so I can do things. How much string is that? One, two, twelve spider silk just for having it exist over there. Granted, I think if you feed animals and they're happy, they give you more stuff, but we don't have to do anything for the for the snake here, and it'll just... Well, you know, we might... Let's see if we can feed it a worm. Would you like a, would you like a worm? You would like a worm. Okay, so that snake should probably just make us some more scales around. We can feed it a worm, or we can feed it spider meat or something, and it'll just be a nice, happy little snake. Happy little snake. <laughs> and let's give some more leaves to our goat friends here. Although again, I might move them further up and away. Real quick, just so they can just be out of the way. Yeah, that goat will just like come right along with us. And then we'll build the hitching post. Goat's kind of being a little annoying. Okay, and then we can right click and hitch. And that goat will just be there now. Pick that one up, and the goat, this goat will also. I should probably just put it here. It's a little easier to, to build that way. All right, and then we'll hitch this one up. And then we will um, distribute more snacks. <laughs> Pick up all those leaves and we'll just drop them There. All right, so now they've got plenty of stuff and they're also just now out of the way, which is probably the more important thing because I kind of put them in a bad spot. So now they're in a less annoying spot. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Alright, so. I think next stream we'll finish this off and we'll start working on trying to find metal and stuff, but that's probably going to do it for this one. It's lunchtime for my, my roommate and I, so we're going to figure out what we're, what we're going to do for that, and then after lunch I will be back with starting the new, uh, the new Minecraft mod pack, because that's just what we're going to do the rest of the day, because I'm excited, because it's fun. Because Minecraft is one of my special interests, <laughs> for better or for worse. Granted, I very infrequently interact with the Minecraft community because it's the Minecraft community. But the game itself, I quite like it. It's good fun. So let's make, let's make sure we save. And we're gonna quit to main menu. And quit game. Alright, so for now, that's gonna be the end of our stream. Appreciate y'all very much. Thank you for showing up, everybody. Let's see. Ari, thanks for showing up. It's lovely seeing you. It's lovely having you around. Let's see. Who else? I'm just... My memory's not always very good, so I'm going to go back. Uh, thanks for being here as well, Spot Dodge. It's awesome. It's awesome seeing you. Uh, let's see. Who else we got? I know I had, like, at least, like, one or two follows. But especially, thank you, Twitchy, for the sub. I appreciate that very much. Let's see, I think it was, let me see here, Inspire, yeah, thank you for the follow, appreciate that, and yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna end this now, and I'll be back either at noon, or if I've got other stuff going on, it'll be a little later than that, but I'll be back later, for sure, and I'll be doing like a go live in my Discord server to make it easier to know when I'm going live, you can join that, if that's your prerogative, if not, then hey. I'll be online later. Uh, let me see if I can raid someone real fast. <clears throat> Let's see who we got that's live and what are they doing. Let's see. What are you doing? Dark Souls 3, FF14, just chatting, uh, predecessor. Uh, let's drop in and Venom reviews. He's playing Dark Souls three, so hopefully we get to see some some goofy deaths, <laughs> cause it's always fun watching people suffer in that game. I don't like playing Dark Souls, but it's fun watching other people play it. So, so I'm gonna end my stream and we'll be starting the raid to Venom reviews. Say hi, say hi when you get there if you can, and if I don't see you later, then I'll see you next time. But if I do see you later, then I'd be happy to see you. So, see you later.